This is Giovanni Di Stefano with a special report for Jurist, the University of Pittsburgh Law School's website and also for Studio Legale Internazionale of Rome. Now, um, it's important for us to have an update on the situation with Mr. Al-Majid and the potential executions uh, in Iraq. Now, as I've said on the previous uh, occasions, I have managed with my colleagues from the Iraqi bar to create a little bit of a jungle uh, within the judicial process there. We have filed applications with President Talabani uh, asking for a pardon, and of course he is uh, able to give a pardon. We've also filed applications um, on the question of reciprocity within the law. In other words, we say that a law uh, that he has been tried on, uh, technically speaking, wasn't in force when he was arrested. I have also raised the issue of legitimate expectation, meaning what exactly did the three defendants, in fact all of the defendants that have been in before the Iraqi High Tribunal, what did they legitimately expect when they surrendered themselves to what was then the Coalition Provisional Authority? Now, we say, quite rightly, that their legitimate expectations were one and only that yes, there was a possibility that they would face trial, but that that trial uh, could only result in the maximum sentence of life imprisonment. Now, the prosecutor, Mr. Al Faroon, has today said, oh, it's okay, we can execute uh, uh, these people because the Iraqi High Tribunal uh, uh, has an overriding uh, jurisdiction. That, unfortunately, is not correct. And President Talabani, the Vice President, the Speaker of the Iraqi Parliament, and more important, it's the Americans that hold the key. They will not hand over anyone until there is a proper authority uh, from President Talabani. I think that they have learned their lesson from the mistakes that were made, certainly with Saddam Hussein, almost invariably with Awad al-Banda and Barzan al-Takriti. As you know, Mr. al-Takriti was executed in a most brutal uh, uh, fashion there, which shocked the whole world. And finally, uh, also which led to an intervention from Louise Arba from the United Nations uh, uh, Humanitarian uh, 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 Organization in uh, asking that Taha Yassin Ram Ramadan be not executed. Of course, he was executed. So at this stage, the situation is very much that although the prosecutor is saying they can do this, they can do that, they can do the other, without the lawful authority of President Talabani, they actually can do nothing. And so far, it would appear, uh, as of the 28th uh, of October 2007, that maybe, just maybe, uh, myself and my colleagues from the Iraqi bar, using the law and applying the law, their law, we may very well have saved uh, their lives. It's Giovanni De Stefano for Jurist, uh, uh, the University of Pittsburgh's law school's website magazine, and Studio Legale Internazionale, signing off.